it's because I sound like an odd question. Mm. How could things go wrong? So what could happen that could knock you off track or you could lose momentum with the tools that you're working with, right? What, yeah, I it's think, good to kind of put a bit of thought into how we keep things on track. Yeah, I think it is just accountability. Um, and I think a lot of things can sway that accountability. Mm, yeah. um, I feel like um, if it's just the fact that I'm being lazy and I've missed a few days of something or like a few weeks of something and I can feel myself getting anxious and or I feel like I could throw up or something like that I feel like I I can recognize that mm -hmm. and be like this is yeah but um yeah the only thing that would worry me is like with accountability is if I kind of let it go because um I don't know like not necessarily laziness or something that I'm aware of I think I'm worried that I'd be it would be like my brain's elsewhere mm. um focused on something else and i'm just not not aware that i've lost it Do yeah because I mean? it feels like the anxiety in a sense is is for you i think particularly a symptom of things being out of balance right yeah so if things go out of balance at a certain point the anxiety starts to rise yeah and if it's responded to in the right way you, know, you have the tools, you know what to do to bring it back into balance. Yeah. The challenge might be that as that's happening, you're so distracted in something else that you're doing that it's slipping, slipping, slipping to a point that then it actually feels more difficult to then get it back in, in balance again. Yeah. And my sense is when that happens, you, you just need, it's almost like the further out of balance it goes, the longer it might take to get it back into balance. Doesn't mean that you can't, it just means that it might be more than a day or two, it might be a week or two to really bring back the equilibrium and, and, and the balance again. Yeah. So at the same time, the goal is not that you feel like you have to spend the rest of your life constantly like, am I doing the right thing? Am I doing Because yeah. that in of itself, of course, is anxiety inducing. Yeah. So it, it's it's I think what you particularly found is meditation and exercise have been two things that have really helped you in terms of managing your state and just keeping things mm. overall calm and grounded. And then if things get a bit more out of balance, you know things like the stop process and working with your inner critic and being a bit more direct with yourself about what mm. you need helps. So I also think you've got some stages of intervention yeah. that, that I think can, can be helpful as well. In terms of, of your work with me, it feels mm. like that this feels like a bit of a, a natural completion pause point. And that's yeah. not me saying to you, all right, we're done, like, see you later. <laughs> yeah. But in a, in a sense, part of the um, integration of the work that we're doing is also knowing, I got this. Like, yeah. I, I, I can do this. The, the yeah. goal of therapy is not to spend your life in therapy. The goal of yeah. therapy is to, to give you the tools and the strategies that then you can support yourself. And we all go through chapters in life that can be a bit too overwhelming. And knowing that there's, there's trusted support that's there is also, I think, a helpful part of that. Mm. Yeah. I don't know how all that sounds to you or yeah. if that feels different to you or if you've got questions or... No, I feel like I'm very like content with that and I do feel like um, like you've kind of given me all the tools that I like. I know that I can manage certain things and um, yeah, and it's also comforting to know that if I did have a massive blip and I was just like, I need to vomit on you well, not vomit on you <laughs> yeah, metaphorically I, I think um, I need <laughs> that's to that's not in my job description literally yeah. <laughs> um, then yeah like that's that's really comforting yeah. to know that you know it's not like I'm completely out no and as alone. I always say to people because sometimes I think people can think particularly if a lot of time passes like it's kind of like you know a few years down the line mm. and someone finds yourself for whatever reason like of course life events happen and someone finds themselves in a difficult place it can sometimes fit, in someone's inner critic can make it feel like they've failed or it's like somehow shameful that I've got to go back and ask for mm. help, that I've done it wrong. Or And I always say to people, that is just not the case. Mm. Like we can do everything right and sometimes just life is, is become a bit too overwhelming or a bit like you found re-listening to, to the video that you just someone need a little bit of course correction, a little bit mm. of get, getting back on track. So 
I well, anyway I want to stay in stay in touch because I I, yeah. I want to know how you're doing. Yeah. I want to hear how it goes in August and uh, end of August when you do the, do yeah. the internship. But I want you to know that if at any point you feel you need a little bit of support, it doesn't have to be an on camera film session. It could be sometimes it can be like a five minute phone call to just go. You said this thing to me a year ago and I'm stuck with it, but I think it's like or it can like so I'm really flexible to what you feel is going to be helpful to support yeah. you. But yeah. I just want to say what a Thank pleasure you. it's been. And <laughs> it's working with someone like you, which is why I do this job, because you've done the work and look yeah. at the progress that you've made. And I, I feel good about the part I've played in that. Yeah. But you've done the work. Yeah. So well done. Thank you so much. It's actually been so helpful. Like, yeah, I, I genuinely didn't think that I would kind of get to this stage. Mm. It's happy tears. Yeah. But yeah. I'm just, um, yeah, I'm really, like, content with where I am now. So, honestly, like, thinking back to our first session, I'm like, oh, my God. Like, yeah, it's kind of crazy, like, um, how much it has helped me. Mm. So, yeah, thanks. <laughs> well, I also think particularly back to, I think it was our second session, where we really got into talking about the anxiety. And I know yeah. that that was really difficult for me because it made it, in a sense, it made it real, the fact that we talked about it. Yeah, I know. I and watched I want- that the other day and I was like, oh God, like, I feel like I'm in, like, such a different place. Mm. I feel like who I was then and the stuff that I was talking about, it wouldn't even kind of affect me now the way that it really did. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, it's really, like, kind of, wow, to see. <laughs> And I want you to remember that there must have been a moment in that session where you had a choice because you could have just not really gone there and talked about yeah. it and just sort of said enough words to sort of get through the session and then just drop out of the process. Yeah. But the fact was you had the courage to go, it's scary, it feels uncomfortable, a lot of me feels like I just want to get, a- get away from this, but you had the courage to do the thing that felt hard yeah. and look at what's changed as a result of that. So. I want you to remember that in your life. I want you to remember to be brave and to do the things that feel difficult, but do them because that's how you grow and that's how the things in your life that matter to you become possible. Mm, Yeah. Yeah. So thank you very much. It has been very eye-opening. Good. (laughs) (laughs) Need tissue now. (laughs) 